and we're still waiting. We're still waiting for the justice that we deserve. And I just hope it happens for all of us. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, Stephanie. So Stephanie, before she came out to California, um, she actually lost her husband also to police violence. He was um, he was tased to death while in police custody. So Stephanie had already suffered that, and then shortly after arriving here, witnessed yet another murder, a police murder. And so our hearts really are, are with you, Stephanie. Love and prayers to you. Thank you. Are there any other family members here that would like to say a word? Anyone else? Okay, so I'd like to say a little bit about my nephew, Michael Brewster. He was attacked by uh, San Francisco police in the Mission District in February. Uh, he was having, I don't know, uh, some kind of an off day, and my sister and family were worried about him. So they flagged down police, unknowing the reputation they have and the, the, the tendency they have for violence first. And so when the police officers, you know, they told him, I don't think our son's well, please can you call an ambulance? He needs help, he needs to go to a hospital, is what they said. And my sister said to the policewoman, please don't shoot my son, he needs an ambulance. And the police officer said, I am so tired of hearing you people say that. And so she stopped. I mean, Michael was across the street. He needed help. And the policewoman stopped and actually admonished my sister. How dare you say something to me like that? When they finally reached Michael across the street, instead of talking with him, they attacked him. They had him down on the ground, several policemen on top of him. And we're talking about a young man who is 5'6". He's, he's very small framed. So there's several officers on top of him. He's yelling, I can't breathe. They're smashing his face into the ground. Michael survived. Michael actually survived this brutal attack. And his family members actually stepped up and tried to pull police officers off of him. And it's on camera, the, the brutality of these police. Yet the police accept no accountability for what they have done to him. Instead, they are charging him with three felony counts of assault, an attempt of assault that could likely cause great bodily harm. It actually says that. And then the other one is threatening to execute an officer. So they attack him. He says, what are you doing? And and they're going to charge him. So I'm, I really I'm, I want to bring this out because it's so rare that we actually get to talk about somebody who survived this. So I'd like to, if you can take out your calendars or make a note that his family, Michael will be back in here 850 Bryant well, not here here but here in the city on uh, Wednesday April 24th at 9 a.m. and the DA is going to try to offer him a plea deal and what is really astonishing it's not astonishing what's terrible about this is that most of the men black men brown men who are in prison they've not even been been con convicted they're there because they took a plea bargain and so my family and Michael are asking for our support to come down there because he has no intention of accepting a plea bargain because our family wants justice, justice for Michael Brewster. Whew. All right, so the next...